currently the dryer seems functional, it just doesn't heat. So just to show you on a normal cycle, it does start up, it spins, everything seems fine. Uh, it's right now it's set to medium heat, but it just never, never gets warm. This guy. To gain access, I'm going to remove two bolt head screws on either end of the front face. Okay, I have to find that screw. All right, that did it. Ooh, it's a little dusty. I'm going to start with these two fuses, and I'm going to remove the wires one at a time and label them. I'm going to label this one right, this one left, and the same for those other ones over there. So you can see I've got these leads removed from the closer of the two thermal fuses. I've got them labeled and we're going to test it with the multimeter. All right, let's see if we can make our lives easier by removing the bottom of this lint trap. Might also allow us to clean that thing out quite a bit more. Gonna get into it, might as well get into it, right? I mean, these are just screws. But now we've got much easier access to this thermal fuse. If you can see that on the left, I'd gotten one of the leads off and I just couldn't reach the other one and get any leverage on it. It's going to take just a second to get these out. But it's not difficult. Just a little bit of patience. All right, it's time to uh, put the shop back to work. We're going to suck up some dust and lint. We're going to carefully see what loose lint we can vacuum out of here. And that way when we put it back together, it's just not such a mess. So let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our new parts in, we've got our thermal fuse, and then this one's actually called a thermistor. Helps, I guess, regulate the temperature. This one's just a fuse. We're gonna test those new parts side by side with the old parts to show the difference. And then we will install the new parts. So after we replace this, we're gonna wanna make sure we don't have just gobs and gobs of lint clogging up our, our exhaust, essentially. So there's that one. And let's get this guy out here. There's that one. Got my old parts in a Ziploc. This guy looks slightly different, but they're essentially the same. And then Here's our old one of those. First we'll look at these thermal fuses. This is our old one. The new one is in the back. Yes, this can actually be tested with continuity. So you know, our multimeter actually has a continuity setting that uh, actually makes a noise. And on the old one we get nothing. So let's try the new one. So. Clearly we have continuity. Clearly our old fuse was bad. So this, this should make a big difference. So that definitely needs to be replaced. And then on our thermistor, this, this as I've read doesn't get tested with continuity. It actually has to be tested for resistance. So we're gonna change the multimeter to uh, like a, uh, 2000 K resistance and we're going to test it 
let's test the new one and see what we get. Point oh oh eight or zero zero eight. So this this one may be okay. We definitely have a bad fuse. Try and start the nut by hand. And this little just has the one kind of bolt head screw, I guess, that holds it in. There's really only enough room to get a, a quarter inch wrench in here. Doesn't have to be super tight. I don't want to crack this plastic. And then we're just going to re reapply these leads. I had labeled the one that goes to the right. The other one goes to the left. These were actually kind of tough to, to remove. So they're a tight fit. Okay, I think that's in. I will remove my tape here because I don't need that anymore. Easier said than done. Okay. And we will get that. Okay, that one is done. So the old one might have been fine. The, the, the main problem may have just been the thermal fuse. These are both really inexpensive. Okay, so we've got the dryer plug back in. We've got power. We've got the temperature set to medium. We've replaced both our thermal fuse and our thermistor. I don't have the lint trap in place yet, but I'm gonna test it at this point and see what we get. And then if we're working, I'm actually gonna replace what's left of this spongy gasket. I've got a new part for that. So let's see what we get. I'm going to start it and then we'll give it a second. We're running. We've got some glow. Will it fire? like we're back in business uh, just for the cost of a couple really inexpensive parts so we're gonna finish cleaning this up put it back together we'll replace this gasket and um, I hope this helps you I'm gonna shut it off all right so we've got the dryer working again one of the things that we found when we removed the lint trap so that we could get easier access to the thermal fuse and the thermistor was that this foam gasket, quote unquote, is in pretty bad shape and it's probably why we're getting a lot of lint inside of the dryer. Um, so I ordered a replacement piece of foam that I think should work. I'll share the link in the description if this goes well. Um, but I'm going to try and scrape off this old, what's left of the old one. A lot of surface on this bottom edge here to, to stick to, but the new foam gasket is 
got a peel and stick adhesive, so hopefully if we just get it positioned in there, it will uh, it will hold its place. I'm gonna pull this backing off. There doesn't seem to be much adhesive on here at all. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is is apply some adhesive. So I'm gonna go into the garage and maybe get some silicone that I can apply to this and then I will try and stick it down. So the self-adhesive on the foam just kind of peeled right off. So I'm just going to put a light, well, put a little silicone around the edge. I'll smear it flat. We'll let it set up just a little bit and then we'll try and apply our foam. It's a perfect fit for the perimeter here, which I thought I was going to have to do some trimming, um, but it's it's going to be just perfect. So we'll let that kind of set up a little bit. Just make sure I got this. Where it needs to be so I can get my wet trap in there without pushing anything out of the way. Get one or two of these started. Got a better seal all the way around. Should be better than it was by far. Okay, so we're back doing laundry and drying clothes. I hope this helps you. If you've got a similar problem, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments you think could be helpful for others. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.